<clears throat> Hello, it's Rachel, mom who does things. Um, I, I'm gonna get try to get back into sewing a little bit more. So when I was younger, sewing was one of the first like bigger kind of crafty things that I got into. One of my first jobs, or my first job actually, was a cashier at Hancock Fabrics. Some of y'all might remember Hancock Fabrics. It was kind of around before uh, Joann's was around, I, I, I think. And it was used to be, I don't think there's any more left. I don't know. Uh, I know that where I live, there's no, no more left. Um, all the ones that were open are definitely long gone. But anyhow, that was one of my first jobs. I was 16 years old and I worked with a bunch of like 60 and 70 year olds, um, which I, I loved. I worked there for like about three years. Um, and it was, you know, it was really fun. And I used to sew stuff to go on the mannequins and things like that. Anyhow, I haven't really sewn for years. Um, I've got, you know, got in, I was in school, you know, in uh, college and then had kids and stuff. So I just really haven't, I'm just kind of getting back into things. So I thought I'd start out small with a really easy project. My next project uh, the goal is for my next project to be more complicated. Um, and uh, so we like to go to like uh, the little medieval festivals and stuff with our kids. There's like two uh, or two or three in the area that happen um, several times a year at different times. And so we usually go about twice a year, one at the beginning of the year, one at the end of the year. Um, and the goal is to make a big elaborate costume for one of those um, fairs because I love to sew costumes. That's actually what I started out doing is sewing costumes. Um, that's why I learned how to sew is because I love costumes. I used to want to be like one of those like uh, costume designers for or costume help, you know, people for like theater and stuff like that. Um, so, but I haven't sewn in years again. So the goal is to tiptoe back into that with a nice, very, very simple project. I was at Hobby Lobby the other day. They were having a sale on their fabrics and they had this super cute, mushroom print cotton um and i think i'm gonna decide to i decided to sew this little dress right here from this uh, mccall's pattern very easy very simple um just dipping my toes back into sewing i have sewed some costumes for the kids before um and you know it was it went fine um but i i kind of want to practice a little bit before i really um try something more complicated. So anyhow, I'm, I'm practicing sewing something for myself because I don't even really know what size I am now. I haven't, I mean, sewed a costume or, or outfit for myself for years. So I don't really, you know, these, these little sizings on these patterns are never quite accurate for me. And I don't really remember what size, I mean, what size I was back in the beginning probably is a little different now. So I need to, I need to test it out. I haven't sewed something for myself. Basically what I'm saying is I haven't sewed something for myself in a very, very long time. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to sew um, something for myself, something simple. I had bought a bunch of these little weighted um, pattern cutter outer things that are you like, helps you hold down the pattern so you can cut out stuff. But I only found one and I've never used them before. And I just got them in like a couple months ago in preparation for sewing this pattern and the next patterns that I wanna sew. Um, and I can't find them and I only found one and I have no idea where they went to. So yeah, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get started cutting this out. Um, I don't really have a table to cut this out on. And so I think so a lot and, 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 but so anyhow, I'm going to just cut this out on the floor and you know deal with it but i'll get started jumping right in i'm cutting out the pattern pieces that i will need for this particular dress leaving behind the ones that i'm not going to be using for the other dress forms um, or dress patterns and then i'm just going to fit them out on the fabric and as you can see here, I am using a, uh, I'm doing dress A, and I've got a 45 inch um, 
bolt of fabric. Um, that means it's 45 inches wide. So it on the pattern pieces, it shows you exactly how to lay out the pieces to fit on this particular fabric um, size. There's also like 60 inch fabric pieces. And um, I think there's a, like a couple other ones, um, but it gives, it gives the layout, how to lay the pieces out for each of those fabric cuts. So it's very, they're always very well thought out and I'm always incredibly impressed with people who put pattern pieces together or the machines that do it or, or whatnot. It's, it's always very um, interesting how they do that. And look, I found my little, <laughs> my weights to um, cut out the, um, the pieces. So really pleased that I finally found the, those. That was a nice surprise. Oh man, I'm always losing things. <laughs> Moving on to pinning the pieces together. I'm starting with the skirt pieces here and Momo really wanted to be involved with this project. <laughs> she was, I could not get her to <laughs> give me space for this. She just wanted to be a total lap dog here, which I'm perfectly okay with because I love a good lap pet. <laughs> Um, usually she doesn't do this though when I'm working on projects, but she really wanted to be a part of this one. Anyhow, just putting the, um, faces of the fabric together, that means the sides with the patterns. Okay, so now that that's all pinned, it's time to start sewing. Yay! Isn't it just the absolute worst when you're really into a project and you have to stop to clean just so you can keep working on the project? Days of procrastination later, I have cleaned this off enough to where I can at least get to the sewing machine. <laughs> but I uh, can't quite get to the pedal, so I've stuck the pedal here and I plan on standing with my foot through here <laughs> and sewing because I just, I have nowhere to put this stuff. Um, yeah, this is my fabric storage stash and I just have nowhere else to put it. This is what happens when you have ADHD and this is the only place you can store all of your projects. And you know, those of you with ADHD know you got at least have 10 projects going at once. So I have like 10 projects over here and that's why it's so messy. <laughs> I think there's probably there's more than 10 projects honestly I know I, I can I, looking around I can count at least at least 15 I know there's got to be like 20 projects on this desk alone someday hopefully I'll have a better space than this but this is what I'm working with now so I got to try to fit my all my projects in this little corner and it makes it a little hard but that's just the way I operate now here I am surging the skirt pieces together I've been lucky to have the serger for many years. Um, it just makes sewing so much easier. Um, they are a little intimidating with all the thread there, but they just make it, they make this, the outfits and stuff just so much neater and nicer looking on the inside. And here I am just trying it on. I'm kind of not quite following the pattern um, just because I don't, the instructions are a little muddled, but I'm going to go ahead and connect the two it didn't show me cutting out the lining, but I cut out the lining of the bodice in the same fabric, and I cut out um, the front side. So the front, so I have the actual front side and then the bodice, put them pattern side together. I'm going to connect them um, with my serger here to here. This is the armhole. These are the two armholes. This is the neck hole. This is the back piece. This is the front. Connect them at, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to connect them at the shoulders. Glad I'm talking about this because I just realized that I shouldn't do that. Okay. So I'm gonna... And here I am surging the um, bodice portion together, um, both the lining and the um, outward facing fabric. And you can see that laid out here. Okay. So this is the lining portion. You can see because there's a seam here. I didn't have enough of the fabric to put it on the fold like the front part is. So it's kind of easy to tell which side's the lining and which side's the seam. So this is the scoop that goes on the neck and the front side and these are the two front straps. So what I'm going to do is attach them. They're going to attach here. The back piece is going to attach to the front piece here. Okay, so here's what this is looking like at the moment. It is going to be gathered under the bust. So I cut out a size 8, but I think I could have also done a size 
10 on this one. Um, so because it is going to be, it's going to be like a perfect fit, I think, at the end. But I prefer like a little bit more room. Next up, I'm working on the part that goes right under the bust. It's a little bit tighter and more fitted. Um, and I'm going to start gathering under the um, the bust right here on the for the um, portion of the bodice top so that it's more fitted. Then you also have to do some gathering on the sleeves as well at the top kind of try on before I do that just to make sure I gather in the correct spots I didn't um, do where the markings tell me to go on the pattern I just hold it to me to figure it out for myself um, I find that works a little bit better and making these gather um, cinching or gathering is really simple it's just you put this the serger on the loosest portion and then um this i mean the stitch sorry i'm not using the correct words you put the stitching on like the loosest setting um or the furthest apart setting and then you just pull one of those strings so there's two strings that go together one from the front one in the back and you just pull one of them and it will tighten and cause a nice little um ruching effect there yay mm -hmm. Here I am trying to try it on one more time. <laughs> um, that was the sleeve I was just working on in the previous shot. And you can see I have cinched the um, bodice portion and I'm just checking to see if I like how it looks. Now it's time to attach the bodice to the waistline portion of the dress. I'm not sure what you'd call that. I'll just call it the, the waist portion of the dress. <laughs> um, and it's really simple. And then you just sew it in place and um, the sewing machine will sew down all those nice little gathers and make them look all night nice and neat and tucked away um inside the dress so that you can't see it um do another fitting lots of fittings is always a good idea to try it on at every stage after every sewing stage and see if it's um, going the way you want or if you need to stop and make changes um, i ended up i was trying to decide if i wanted to do um, sleeves or not and i ended up deciding to not do sleeves uh, just because it's summer here in Texas, and I know if I put sleeves on it, I will not wear it. And now it's time to pin the skirt on. This is the Renaissance pattern that I is my goal to sew sometime later this year. Let me know if y'all want to see that after um, or interested in it and what colors I pick and um, fabric and all that. Um, I'm pretty excited to do this to work on that piece. And trying it on one more time. And then now I'm surging the base skirt to the um, waistline area. And then uh, this is me just pinning the bottom hem. And this portion I decided to hand sew on the inside the um, lining of the waistline down so that there wouldn't be any um, sew lines from the um, sewing machine on the outside of the fabric. I don't know why I decided to do that really. It was a lot of work, <laughs> but oh well, I decided to do that. So I did that. Um, and now I'm sewing the armholes together. This part was a bit tedious and I'll be quite honest with you. This whole thing <laughs> is probably about a, like from start to finish, cutting out the fabric to end probably a total of like four hours of work that can be broken up pretty easily and quickly over, um, a period of, you know, days, or you can get it all done in one chunk. Or if you're like me and procrastinate like crazy and get distracted by all the millions of other projects that you have, it will take you about two months to finish, which is why you see me wearing sweatpants at the beginning of the movie and um, short sleeves here at the end. That is me putting in the invisible zipper. I hate putting in invisible zippers. It's one of my least favorite jobs. Pinning more of the hemline together. Momo is very interested in those clips and she really wants to sit on my lap like a cat, which I love actually, because I love cats too. Big cat fan. Um, also um, like a lot of animals. Sewing um, the hemline down. And here is the finished product. Yay. Now you may be wondering, do I actually like the dress or not? And the answer is it's okay. Um, I think there's a couple things about it that I'd really like to change. One being, um, I wish the skirt was fuller. I wish if I thought, I thought it was going to be a little fuller than it was, I would have cut out a couple more panels, um, and gotten more fabric and 
just extended um, the skirt more and gathered it more. Um, and then I think the last thing I would also do is I, which I can still go back and do is to change the, um, narrow the, the straps on the dress. I think I'd like to do that. And then I would actually think, I, I think it's a really cute dress aside from those little things. It fits pretty well. And I would recommend this as a um, great, easy pattern. It's not the easiest, but it is um, pretty good for, I would say, um, beginners, but you maybe need a little more experience than just like complete beginner. So yeah, anyhow, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.